dokie. Today I'm going to show you how to make cabinet doors out of pine wood. Easy and cheap. All we're doing inside is measuring from the ground to underneath here, in my case. This is the rough opening for this doorway. Okay, so the top of the door is going to be here and the bottom of the door is going to be down there. But wait! We need it to open and close without scraping the ground or expansion of wood and it stopping itself on this piece of wood or anything like that. So I'm going to take the exact measurement from here to the ground minus a half inch. And whatever that is, is what I'm going to cut my doors at. Okay. And these doors are going to be made out of an eight foot pine wood board. Okay. They look like those two right there, eight foot long. And all I'm doing is cutting the top to the bottom length minus a half inch, all right? Now, I'm gonna make sure all these measurements are the same on all four doors. I've already done these two. So now that I, I've already measured it all and they're all the same, so I'm gonna cut four doors that are all the same height, okay? And we won't worry about the width for now. That's gonna come in a minute because you might need to rip the boards because they might be a little bit too big or a little bit whatever so you might have to rip those boards most likely and I'm going to show you how I'm doing that on all of these because I'm actually going to have to cut all of them now I'm only going to show you how I do one but I actually have to rip every single one of these by hand with my circular saw outside is four concrete blocks with a two by six and a two by four resting on those concrete blocks and then here's my pine board eight foot long by 16 inches wide here's the barcode from Lowe's there's also a scrap piece off of the bigger doors that we did inside already where the sinks gonna be the taller doors that were like this tall anyway this is the scrap of that end and I'm gonna turn it into it's, it's big enough so I'm just gonna have to slice it right here on the edge ripping it and then cut the top off a little bit and it'll fit okay and I'm gonna make three doors out of this so let me set you down uh, we're gonna be measuring from here the length okay and then from there the length I'm gonna make the first two because that'll have straight edges we've got all straight edges so I'll measure from here in and then from there in and then we'll have one door that's all off of cut edges we'll just have to make sure that it's all square cut a nice cut make it the best we can okay so we'll have one door which will be on the end of the cabinet <laughs> Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, f everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Yo, set your affirmations, aspirations. There is the scraps. Here is my sawhorse. There is my tools, which I'll link all this in the description below. And here is the cabinet doors. You can see they're all the same height. I've cut them all the same height same width for now but we'll end up ripping each one to whatever they need to be i'm gonna rip one side or the other and make them all fit perfect here they are inside now and you can see this is a full piece not ripped or anything okay and you can see if i put it on here i've got a board over here and i've got a board right here and we cut a half inch off the bottom so that there's a gap in between this board and the cabinet door so that it doesn't over time expand and start not opening and closing because it's too tight or whatever there's going to be a half inch or a quarter inch at the bottom and a quarter inch at the top okay right now it's just sitting on the floor so you can see that half inch right there all the way down okay now now that we know that you can see there's hinges over here already for this door opening this way. So I have to put my hinges over here. <clears throat> and you can see if I put this door right against that hinge with like 
hardly any space at all. Um, that's as far, and I want it to line up with up there. So it'll need to come over to right there where it's even with this, all this right here. Okay. And it ends right there and there's not enough room to put my hinge. And how do I know that? Well, you take your hinge, the hinge that I'm using and place it on there against the door. And you can see that's not enough room. So what do I need to do in order to keep this door in line with everything right here and still have enough room over here to nail to? Well, I'm gonna have to cut a little. Oop, there, we dropped it. We're gonna need to cut a little bit off this edge. I'd say about a quarter, maybe about, let's say about a half inch. All right, I'm probably, I'm probably gonna cut a half inch off of that. Yeah, let's say about a half inch. And we will have a little bit, little bit of wiggle room over here, not much, maybe about an eighth of an inch or this way or an eighth of an inch this way, but we have to be really close. That's why I say uh, if I go over a half inch, I'll still have plenty of room to nail the next board on, which is this one right here. And you can see once we get this board on, There'll be the hinge, see, and this is just not enough room because of the hinge, and then the hinge for this door will be over here, and we're not gonna be able to <clears throat> open and close it on top of a hinge, so in order to make this one fit, we have to make this one fit, or make this one fit first, and then make this one fit, but we have to make all of this fit, and we want it all to line up, everything to line up. This to line up, that's level, this is all lining up, that gap in the middle lines up. This gap will line up. Everything's gonna line up here, here, underneath the cabinet. Okay, everything lines up. So in order to make it all line up, you gotta make it all line up. You understand what I'm saying? What I'm doing here is taking my hinge, nothing fancy. Okay. And I'm pre-drilling a hole with this little bit. I'll link this in, in the description below. Don't drill all the way through the wood because you can see this will go right through the face of that cabinet. So don't do that. I'm just going in just a little bit. Now I'm using these screws that came with the hinge. Switching the bit to a Phillips head. Now I'm going to repeat those same steps on this side over here. Okay, the hinges are on this door and this door has been ripped. It's door one. Okay, right here. Rip this cabinet door without butching it with choppy lines and you want just a perfectly straight cut all the way down all i'm doing is setting it on my little sawhorse table and then i'm taking a fence picket and i'm just setting it right here like this and then i'm going to get my skill saw and figure out where it needs to be lined up at in order for the blade to be cutting on that line. So that's right here. Okay, and now I'm gonna measure that. On this end, have the measurement I'm gonna put the fence picket back on there and draw a straight line
Now, you can see there's my cabinet door. Hence, pick it across to get the straight line right where my uh, skill saw can go down this edge and be cutting perfectly where it should. So I'm gonna I'm gonna bring you in close so you can see. It better. So you can see right here, I want my saw blade to cut down this line and cut off this piece right here. But I have a mark here and a mark down on that end, and that's where my skill saw is gonna glide down this. And that's what you're gonna see is this get cut off. And this is like a straight edge for my saw, like a basically like a a table saw. But a very cheap table saw. <laughs> okay, we're lined up and I attached the clamp. We're lined up over here. Attaching the clamp. Safety glasses. And we're just going to line it up on this wood and cut straight through. I have attached the doors now. You can see there's hinges on this side for this door. So it swings open that way and then this opens that way. And this opens that way so all the hinges are like this and all of our lines are matching up here 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 underneath here underneath there we have plenty of room for them to open up you can see okay plenty of room and I'll be putting knobs on each one of these and handles on these drawers handles on these drawers knobs over here knobs over here and I will put these two on right here right there and i'll have to rip them just like i did the other ones and i'll show you what this all looks like and here is what your pine wood door cabinetry would look like on a two by four frame keep in mind all the pine wood was only under a hundred dollars and all the two by fours to build this whole cabinet was under a hundred dollars and that countertop was only 130 for, so for under 300 dollars, i bought all of the wood to do all of this and the hinges also Everything lines up, you can see. I'm going to have trim on the edges right here and trim on this edge over here. But anyway, follow me over to my next video where I show you how to put the drawer handles and the knobs. And we'll start with that. I'll probably have this trim on there in that video because it's not really a big deal. I'm just going to put a piece of trim right here and right here. If this video was helpful in any way, go ahead and like it. Subscribe to the channel if you like home improvement videos, and I will see you next time.